Hi, and welcome on News Now, Belmont Journal, News Show, and Community Update. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Today we have a special guest, Amita Knight. She's the author of the book, Asha and the Big Digger. It's a children's book. Thank you for joining. Thank you for having me. Can you briefly tell us a little bit of this story? Yes, uh, Osha and the Big Digger is about sisters, stars, cartwheels, and constellations. Um, the story centers on three girls, Osha, her big sister, Arthi, and her cousin, uh, Gloria, who see different shapes in the Big Digger and have to figure out why. So nice, and congratulations on writing your first book. What does it take to write a book? Um, well, I've actually been writing for more than 10 years now. <laughs> so it takes a lot of persistence, basically, to get a book published. To write a book, um, it also takes persistence to you know, complete something and then revise it a million times until you're tired of even looking at what you wrote. <laughs> right. And how did you come up with the idea? So this series, um, it, my book is part of the storytelling math series, um, which is from Charles Bridge. And what they did is they teamed up with a math teaching company called Turk. And Turk did a study on um, math literature for children. They studied all of the picture books that were already out to see um, where the holes were in terms of teaching for children. And so they had a call online describing which, what kinds of stories they were looking for in terms of the math that would be in the story. Um, and they asked for um, racially diverse authors to submit their books to fit those criteria. And so I, um, I pitched them just a pair, just you know, a couple of lines of an idea. I pitched them three or four ideas actually, and quickly wrote the drafts for those three or four books. And this is the one they chose. Um, so that's kind of how it started, but um, more on a personal note where the actual story came from, um, Usha is named after my mother. Um, my mom's name is actually Manjula, but Usha was her nickname growing up. Um, and she worked for NASA when I was a kid. We used to live in Houston and she was a computer programmer. So I always had stars on the mind, I think. That's a great story. Congratulations. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to the release of the book. So when is that? Yes, it comes out August 3rd, which is coming up very soon. <laughs> um, yeah. And I heard you're going to have a release party. Yes, um, there is a, a release. Launch the, party. Yes, the launch party is with Belmont Books. And it's a virtual launch party on August 5th at 6 30 p.m. and the sign up is on the Belmont website on the on their events calendar page. Great and why is it important to have an Indian American character? Well it's um you know it's funny it's so important to see yourself in a book and I say this um but growing up I never saw myself in a book so it's something I can't even put into words because I never had that growing up <laughs> But I can definitely see in my kids' eyes when they feel like they're represented by a book and when they feel like they're not. Um, and as an adult, I've definitely just had that aha moment now that more Indian American authors are being published, just seeing what it must have felt like for everyone else who did see themselves on the covers of books. And what is next? Um, well, I am have a couple of other picture books that I've sent to my agent that we're revising um, and a novel that we're actively revising and hoping an editor will pick up. <laughs> I see that the book is about the stars and the sky, but I also uh, noticed you mentioned that it's connected to math. How is this? So the book concentrates on spatial rotational math. Um, so what happens through the book is the girls see the Big Dipper, um, but they're viewing it from different angles. And so 
literally and figuratively, it's about learning to see things from each other's perspectives. Um, let me see if I can show you a spread um, that shows you what I mean. So this is a spread um, from the near the end of the book where the girls are rotating around to see the different shapes. And kids aged three to six are still developing their kind of their rotational math skills and understanding that something when it's you know turned to the side is still the same object, um, even though it looks completely different. Um, so that's an important skill um, for kids to know. So to make a book, it takes different parts. And one of them is the illustration. Can you share the process, please? So in children's publishing, a lot of people will ask me if I did the illustrations or if I knew the illustrator ahead of time. But actually, when you're um, a writer, um, the publishing companies like to choose the illustrator. They have entire art departments who collect art samples from um, illustrators to try and match the art with the text. And in this case, um, I was, I had particularly asked to have a woman of color illustrator and hopefully a South Asian illustrator and hopefully a South Indian illustrator, um, because that's my background. My parents are from South India. Um, and I was thrilled that they found Sandhya Prabhat, who is based in California, um, who is a South Indian illustrator and an independent animator as well. Um, so that was wonderful. And in terms of um, the illustrations of the book, as when you, um, when you get your copy, you'll see that, you know, the illustrations are extremely important for this story, um, just in terms of, you know, seeing the movement of the characters and also the different shapes that the characters see in the stars. And a lot of that goes into the actual manuscript that I wrote. Um, you put little illustration notes and the artist takes that into consideration when she makes the art. That's great. And how long is this process? Um, well, I initially pitched the idea to my editor in 2018. So it's been three years <laughs> to actually have a book in hand. But it, we had a pandemic, so it took a little extra time. No, actually, um, it came out just as they planned. Um, and actually, this is on kind of the quicker side, to be honest, <laughs> for picture books. It take a long time. Yeah, it takes a very long time. All right. So right now you're working on your second book? Um, I'm working. Uh, so I've, you know, like I said, I've been working um, for more than 10 years as a writer. So I'm constantly writing the next thing. <laughs> so I'm actually on my fifth novel, on my, I don't know, 15th, 16th picture book. <laughs> So we'll see which one, you know, I hope I get another contract soon. <laughs> oh, nice. And you're focused on the what age group? I write um, um, from picture book through young adult. So all age ranges of kids. Yes, I'm wishing you the best. And what is your background? Um, in terms of where I grew up? Or, yes. Um, so I grew up, I was born and raised in Texas in Houston, and then when I was eight, my parents moved to Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, so I lived there um, from fourth grade through graduating high school. And then I came up to MIT for college and I stayed. <laughs> Basically my husband is from Belmont and we live you know, in his aunt's house. <laughs> that, yeah. That's, that's great. Continuing with your background. Now tell us, what did you study? Um, so I actually studied biology at MIT, and I have a medical degree from Tufts uh, University School of Medicine. I, um, you know, I took math calculus in college, um, but I didn't study, I didn't major in math. And now you took some uh, writing classes. What made you to a writer? So um, I 
had a story that was in my head and I had to write it down. Um, I was always writing. Um, I had a diary as a kid. I wrote stories. I wrote plays with my sister. Um, the first novel that I took seriously, I wrote, uh, I started during my interviews for medical school and I actually, I co-wrote it with my twin sister and I found, somehow found time to write during my 60 to 90 work week as a resident. <laughs> so I think that's when it really dawned on me that this was something serious that I wanted to pursue. And what do you say to the community about your book? What, they, what do you want them to, to look forward for? I mean, mostly I hope that it's a fun picture book for their kids. There's a lot in there that kids can relate to. Osha is an energetic young girl who loves to cartwheel and gets into fights with her sister. <laughs> and I hope they just enjoy the book with their kids. Thank you really for sharing your story and this amazing uh, storytelling book that we're looking forward to read and invite everybody to join for your launch party and the release date. And you can tell us again, please. Yes, the, the book comes out August 3rd. You can pre-order it from Belmont Books and I'd love for you to join us at the launch party on August 5th. Is there anything else you would like to say? Um, just thank you for having me and I hope you enjoy my book. <laughs> thank you and today we had Amita Knight is the author of a really fun book and we invite you to join to the uh, launch party and thank you for watching and Maribel your host. Have a good night. Yeah.